prop. I love the 12th Doctor's new sonic screwdriver. And if, like me, you've been itching to get your hands on one since hell bent, then don't worry, the wait is over. Character Options have just released their new Sonic. But how do you turn one of these into one of these? It's the first Sonic ever, I believe, with four different modes. Mode one, you press up. If you want mode two, you pull back. If you then do a double tap up, you get a completely different version of the green. And if you do a double tap back, wow. you get the blue. Is this a test version? Is that what this, was a, this was a model, and it's now looking very unhealthy. We create the model in CAD, and those are output as basically a model to get painted. And that's exactly what this started off as. They make a second model that they don't paint and they use that to cut the steel to make the great big steel moulds in polycarbonate and ABS and various other things. The first time you run plastic through it you get um, this which is a basically a non-working version. This is an 11th and you can see that it's a little bit loose, a little bit shaky so that first set of shots or engineering prototypes as they're called. Eventually where well, you'd actually get to this which would be a final engineering prototype uh, and then you get your first production sample so what they do is they take the second version of that and they paint it up mm. like the model and they send it to me and say does it look right and then you finally get to a second version of that where things are a little bit better and then finally one that's in the packaging. Were there any big changes that you had to make in between these? On the prop when we first saw it, we all had the same issue when we were using it. It has a five position switch, so you had off was in the middle and then click, click, different word, click, click. It made it quite difficult to actually use it naturally. You don't want to be mucking around sort of and looking at your hand. A lot of the games consoles and stuff use the system of double taps, so that's all we did. We put a spring switch into the Sonic instead, so it naturally goes to neutral in the middle. It probably makes it more easy to use. I made my own Sonic <gasps> out of... Bring uh, it blue, out. Yes, blue, blue Peter style out of uh, foil and cardboard. But uh, here it is. It's always amazing how many people do that, like yourself. They literally can't wait to get their hands I, on Do you the know, box. the moment it appeared on screen, I was like, I have to make this. It's uh, a lot shorter and fatter, so it lights up yeah. if you twist it once. And if you twist it twice, it flashes. Did you use glue um, sticks? I did use glue sticks. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I Cheers. commend you for Thank that. Thank you. And I'm not the only one who's been busy making their own Sonic. This amazingly detailed prop was made by Pierre Jean in France. We thought it was a real thing. James made this brilliant replica from brass, stainless steel and 3D printed elements. Nate made his lovely prop from 3D printed pieces, a mini flashlight, glow sticks and all finished off with a lick of paint. And Jimmy wowed us with this Sonic he cleverly made by combining the core of an old Sonic screwdriver, plastic, paint and a lot of hot glue. Plus, some girl called Crystal, I don't know if she is, shows you how to make your own 12th Doctor Sonic screwdriver in this handy step-by-step -step guide. And finally, if you want a close-up look at the real thing, check out this video from Rubber Toe Replicas, the guys who build the props in the actual show. Thanks guys for your amazing work, and if you have anything you'd like to share, email dwthefancho at bbc.com or tweet at dwthefancho. Bye! Should we stop her? No. Let her go.